Hey guys, welcome to this video. We are creating the basement of the popular Rainbow Six Siege map bank with each and every detail. Yay! Second video for this week and I am completely honest with you. I I think I have overburdened myself with this project. It's huge! But we will ah, face it step by step. I have chosen Rainbow Six Siege, the game, and also this particular map because it always fascinated me. And now that I have a PS4, I bought it three weeks ago, didn't have the time to play a lot lately. Of course, now that I am staying at home a lot, I'd say um, I will be having more time, I guess. So this is the upside of the current situation. Let's jump right into it. This project was another collaboration with a GTV, with a German GTV YouTube channel. I'll definitely make sure to link them because I have also done this video in German with an extra five minutes of the whole project. So make sure to check them out. Their motto is beyond and behind video games. And this is also reflected in the content they are putting out. They have several series. Crafts is one of them. My Mario and Rabbits video was the first video for this series. But there's also retro video game history. They have talks about games and even cooking recipes. Um, there is a Raymond cake and an Assassin's Creed apple pie. Check them out and make your own opinion. I'll include a link. So let's get back to the creation. Now that we worked a lot with cardboard and we somehow defined the outline of the basement of the bank, we can now work with this mesh. It's um, wire, very thin wire. This is why I also could use my scissors for that. It's not 100% accurate when compared to the game, but well, I think it was a good solution to work with this mesh. This is the escalators, we have the garage and also the street to the garage. I wanted to include this to the basement as well. Then we have three pillars. This is how I created them and we will glue them in the garage as well. Later this garage will be filled with some cars as well. And this is acrylic paint because we will color the walls which we have created with cardboard. So let's take a brush. Most of the walls are just gray. So we will paint them all gray, but we have some exceptions. For example, the parts where we have the red light. This is my PS4 and the television right next to my table I'm working on. This was really comfortable. <laughs> of course, I always had to turn my head right. <laughs> and um, this was also quite negative. When you are in spectator mode, you only have these 12 minutes. I think it's 12 minutes, right? And then I had to start the match all over again. This is the room with red light where we have the huge door of the safe. This is another door. Now let's take some pens because when you look carefully, you see that almost every room has this outline. And I decided to just paint it and we will use it for some further details as well. Some more acrylic paint for these red stripes in the garage. And then we can go on adding some more tiny details. This is the door for the safe, which we are creating with silver clay. So now that we finished the cardboard part, let's get to the clay part itself. A very thin layer. 
It will become thicker as we are working with different layers and after oven hardening I intend to paint some further details onto the door as well. Maybe we can use some gold, golden clay as well. And this should work. Look at that. I really like how the door turned out. We can put this to the side because we have many, many further furnitures and doors and shelves to create and tables and computers and desks and wow <laughs> this is the door no this is the the stuff right behind the safe door in the vault we have all these lockers we have this bag where money is coming out of and of course we will make some piles of of notes of builds i think the clay color matches perfectly the color of money and when you cross the room with all the lockers you come to two further rooms in one of them you will have some more money and some shelves with money and the other one will be filled with gold and we can take the mesh the wire again to create the doors of these shelves Let's put this also aside. Maybe we should create some further gold nuggets. No, it's gold bars, of course. And then we have the stairs, many stairs. We are creating three of them in total. This is the one, the entrance to the server room. Underneath we have the tunnel. But I decided to skip that because, well, then I could have also created the next level of the bank itself. Then we have the two vending machines also right there. And now let's mix us a really dark silver. And you can guess what this is going to be. Any clue? I think it's still not that obvious. But now when I add some details, it should be clear these are all the servers. We have the huge server room. I was wondering which kind of data is stored in this bank. Of course it's transactions and the fees and all the balances the people have on their accounts. But do you really need so many servers for that? Maybe they are mining Bitcoin or using it for gaming, heavy gaming, I don't know. This is another stair and we just also created so some further details. The couch with the two flowers on the right side with the two plants. I really like this decoration in the entrance hall. These are the garbage cans and they are located in the garage as well. Let's focus on this area. We take red and white and this can only mean we are creating the vehicles, we are creating the transporters, the <clears throat> money transporters. But we also have some further cars. We have the Jeep and also two police cars. One of them is stuck right under the rolling gate of the garage. These are all the wheels we will need for these five cars, for these five vehicles. And we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked cardboard? No, here we go. We have one, two, three plates of details. Four, five. This is a mess. <laughs> I'll never figure out where each thing goes. We start very easy. We start with a door, the safe door. I'm using the super glue to get it into position. Also to fix the door right in the middle of, well, where it belongs. We have a table and these are all the lockers, or I assume they're called safe deposit boxes. We have the shelves with gold and there is some gold right in front of the shelf. 
which just fall out. I love these details in the game, where game developers are telling tiny stories like a robber tried to steal some gold and while escaping he just lost some gold bars. These are the servers, now we have almost finished the server room. Let's glue the servers in position and I just paint all the paperwork which is lying on the floor. We have the desk and actually some further desks for this room. I think these are just monitors for all the security cams, I guess. Some more gold bars, another desk which goes right in the middle. A friend of mine who is really good in Rainbow Six Siege told me this is the most important room because as a defender when defending the biohazard container you will be right in this room we have the couch some more paperwork I think I maybe talked a bit too much about the creation itself uh, um, but I'm quite careful because I'm not that familiar with the game yet so much more fascinating stuff um, like that you can destroy walls not every wall but you can work with that um, strategically you have the barricades to use that people can shoot through the wall all that kind of stuff all the operators don't get me started on the operators I think um, I will just test them all out all the operators I will test out their own skills their own abilities to find my favorite one I guess um, you will change them over the course of several matches now let's glue all the transporters and all the cars in position and for the rolling door at the rolling gate I take aluminum foil it should work quite fine the one dollar note I imported this from Los Angeles myself and maybe I, I don't want to destroy it I just need a little bit of it for the details for the good sake of today's video <clears throat> yeah this hurts a little bit destroying money but I make sure that I can still use it and I did this because I wanted the exact right color for the money. It may sound crazy to you. Yeah, maybe it is just crazy. But now we have some real money in the... This would have been a great video title. Using real money to create the bank of Rainbow Six Siege. The operators! These are tiny, tiny minifigures. And they are sold for model train sceneries. Yes, I could have painted them the way the operators look. But as I told you, I am not that familiar with all the different operators. So I went for the recruits. I hope you don't mind. Now we are placing the defenders. And where to put the attacking team. One is entering the scenery through the garage and the other ones... Oh! They're coming through the server room! I guess! That's it! The basement of Bank! The Rainbow Six Siege map! And as you know, I have this really, really crazy pro plans. And this creation was just made for this. Now, let's play Rainbow Six Siege with our pro plans. Whoa. This is crazy. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, leave a comment. Take care, guys. Bye. Maybe I should just sit down there. First I get a coke from right there. If you want to hear me speak German and the extra 5 minutes extended version of this project, go check out GTV. I'll also include a link in the description.